Stone Age, also referred to as the Paleolithic period, is a period in human history which marks the start of tool production. This period started 2.6 million years ago, that's 2 million years earlier than the existence of the first humans. You see, in the past, and this might seem quite weird, there were many other species which looked quite similar to our own. Many archaeological findings and genetic studies suggest that we, the Homo sapiens, humans, shared the world with many such hominin relatives for hundreds of thousands of years until they eventually died out. We know this due to the many stone artifacts and skeletal remains that were carefully dug out by archaeologists and dated through various scientific methods in labs. There were the Neanderthals, the Homo floresiensis, the Homo erectus, as well as many others. All with distinct characteristics, an evolutionary path different from our own and today we call them hominins, species closely related to humans. The story of the early Stone Age world belongs to them. The Stone Age era likely began with an ape-like species called Homo habilis, a species of the genus Homo which quite possibly was our oldest hominin relative. Their appearance was more of an ape-looking one compared to any other species in the genus Homo. Their brains were small, their arms disproportionately long, and they had lots of body hair. But they had agile hands and fingers, they walked upright at least sometimes and their brain, although small, was not to be underestimated. This is important. Agile hands, as well as an upright posture, freed up their hands for the use of tools and more importantly, their intelligence coupled with many other characteristics allowed them to eventually produce stone tools. It is difficult to draw any more detailed conclusions on how exactly the Stone Age era began. It's a complex topic with many theories and not much concrete evidence to go off of. But this is okay, because there is much more to the Stone Age, many more questions that can now be answered today, such as what was the Stone Age era like and why was it so important? To answer this question, we'll first need to look into some of the earliest tools and what they were used for. The tools of the early Stone Age period were very crude. Some of the oldest tools used and made by hominins included hammer stones, sharp stone flakes and later hand axes. These tools allowed them to scavenge leftovers left by stronger and faster predators more efficiently. They used hammer stones to shatter bones to extract bone marrow which could be eaten. They used stone flakes to cut plants and meat. Hand axes were used for various reasons including the shaping and cutting of wood, the key to the development of countless tools. So many wooden tools might have existed during the early Stone Age period. Unfortunately, in the world of archaeology, with the passing of time, only the most durable material remains. There is still so much we do not know. What we do know is that sometime around 600,000 years ago, hominins were already using spears. Sharpened with sharp stone flakes or the hand axe, it was a perfect weapon, deadly for the hunting of animals such as horses, antelopes and even bison. Such hunting was dangerous and most likely even after the invention of stone-tipped spears, around 500,000 years ago, hominins likely hunted reluctantly. Only with a careful plan in place, a trap, an ambush which could cripple their prey before any close contact was required. The invention of such tools, especially spears, had enormous influence over evolution for the genus Homo. 
Anthropologists claim that the switch from scavenging to hunting, for example, is the very reason for the increased size of the human brain. Due to our ancestors' increased reliance on tools and tool production, evolution was favoring traits such as greater intellect, cooperation and hand agility in early humans. Traits which would eventually give birth to anatomically modern humans, which were responsible for many Stone Age inventions which led to the comfortable life that we enjoy today. This period covers countless tools, simply too many to list in a single video. My channel overall covers exactly this topic, the development of early humans and the individual technologies and ideologies which led us here. The invention of the bow and arrow which allowed humans to hunt from a safer distance. The development of fire and complex clothing which was responsible for human migrations outside of Africa into the cooler regions to the north. Agriculture, which was responsible for the appearance of the first villages and cities. And eventually the discovery of metallurgy, a process of shaping metals into various shapes, therefore starting the next major era in human prehistory, the Bronze Age. So what do you find most interesting about the Stone Age period? What would you want me to cover next? Let me know in the comments below and have a good one.